Hi there, uh, my name is Matt Parkinson. I'm just going to um, hopefully go through a quick uh, video on uh, Adobe Fireworks uh, CS4 version, um, just to show you how I'm going to sort of like do a rough sort of outline of the layout of the site. Um, I've been through the, the details with the client and um, know which areas they want, how big they want, different bits and bobs. So I'm just going to try and take that from from a sort of rough sketch I did on a pad um, onto onto Fireworks. So. First thing I'm going to do is uh, start a new uh, new document. Uh, Control N, and then um, I'm going for 15 uh, 1500 pixels wide and 2000 pixels high. Uh, 72 DPI for web and just with a white background. Um, and this is going to give me a really big sort of wide screen to play with. Um, I'm planning on using a 960 pixel uh, sort of width guide grid. Um, which I downloaded uh, earlier. Um, I'll try and make this available. Um, I got it from someone else's site. I'll obviously give them credit for it. It's nothing to do with me. But yeah, we can just drag and drop that into Fireworks straight away. Um, and if we just align that to the top. Um, so yeah, I mean, basically, this is going to give me a really good structure. And uh, it's going to allow me to uh, to lay things out really nicely. Now, what I normally do is I'll try and create a new layer. Um, just call it that guide. Um, and then what I'll do is I can I can lock it. But I can also uh, oops, look at that. Um, just means it can show it and then show it and keep that locked in position so it's not going to get moved if I'm dragging anything else. And uh, what I'll then do is just going to reduce this down so it's quite faint in the background. So about the then it's visible but not you know not too many face. Okay, I'm going to do Control and One. That's going to give me a full uh, full zoom into the actual uh, size of the page I'm working with. Just knock that up a couple with the up arrow. Just make sure that's spot on. Um, okay, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put in a big box across the top, full width all the way to these red bars. I'm going to go say 200 pixels high. So what I'll do is I drag it across. It's not quite right, so I'm just going to use this box down here. Now the actual width of that should be 941, which is a bit of under 940 rather. Uh, and 200 pixels in height. Um, my aim here is just to do a load of very light grey boxes, just to sort of give an idea of what the layout's going to be like. Um, so that's going to be the main main section, and I'm also going to have a partner login area here. Let's just do that slightly darker grey. That That's all I'm really going to have in the header. The logo is going to be in the centre. Uh, like I say, a partner login area here. And then either a, you know, a pretty simple but clean graphic in the top, or, or maybe an image. It depends, depends what we get to. Um, Okay, then what we're going to have is we're going to have on this left hand side, we're going to have a series of little columns for uh, Twitter and LinkedIn and news feeds and contact us and all that, all that gubbins. Um, so, probably going to just use these columns here. Um, so, yeah, about 120 is going to work out okay. So, just duplicate that. And this is a dead simple layout, but it's um it's hopefully gonna be pretty effective. Um, in this particular case, we want 
quite a lot of things in each page, so um, keeping it uh, clean and simple is going to be uh, going to be the key. Um, on the right hand side, we're going to have uh, three main case studies. Um, now, a bit concerned that possibly won't be able to squeeze all of the stuff in that we want to. But and then finally, in the bottom right, we've got um, like an upcoming, up and coming uh, calendar, if you like, for, for events. Um, so that's all going to be in there. Um, but it just keeps it nice and nice and clean. We've still got plenty of space in the centre because there's going to be a lot of content to go in this middle section still. So um, I'm going to do two different ones. One is going to be the home page. So we're going to have that, this big box in the centre. Um, that's going to be the home page. Probably imagery with some inset um, inset text. Um, so that's going to be the home page template. And then I'm going to do another one later on where I'll I'll probably change it around slightly for like an internal page where we've got uh, you know uh, more focus on content rather than images. Um, of course, this brings me to one of the most important things about working with fireworks, which is to make sure you save your documents. Um, so I'm going to do Control Shift S. Uh, I'm just going to save this to the desktop for now. Uh, this is a Media 7 screens. Uh, make sure you save it as a Fireworks PNG. Sometimes it does default to a different one, which can be really, really annoying. Um, needs to be a Fireworks PNG, otherwise uh, you lose all the functionality. Okay, so that's going to save there now. Um, just quickly to mention, there is actually a really, really good little um, app that I've uh, got running. Um, which is called Fireworks Auto Backup. Um, some very, very nice person has coded that. And what you basically do is you just start it before you start Fireworks. And um, it auto auto saves every couple of minutes. You can define you can define the time interval. Um, but yeah, that's, that's saved my skin a couple of times because Fireworks is notoriously bad for just randomly crashing on me. Um, which is such a shame because it's such a great application. Um, I've never really been into Photoshop at all because I've been, always been able to do pretty much everything I wanted to do in Fireworks. Um, so learning to use Photoshop for me was, was just a waste of time. Um, so yeah, Fireworks, uh, Fireworks is the one for me.